那你是要平安 ？Peace, brothers and sisters. 咱来三看书多很短，十三章二十二节。Let us read from Acts of the Apostles, chapter thirteen, verse twenty-two. 来看，书多很短，十三章二十二节。见毁了所罗，就选立大卫做因的王，又为伊做见证讲，我找得亚西的囝大卫。伊是合我心意的人，凡事尊敬我的旨意。And when he had removed King Saul, he raised up for them David as king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, "I have found David the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will." 今日要继续讲到大卫是合我心心意的人。Today we will continue on the topic about David. A man after God's own heart. This is not the opinion of Samuel. Nor is it David's own、uh, words about himself. It's not the view of Paul either. It is God who is testifying about David. 即，又為做見證，講我心堅的呢，也是見大衛，伊是合我心意的人。He gave testimony and said, "I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart." 大衛是聖經的人物。David is a Bible character. 真重要的。He was very important. 到啟示錄二十二章十六節講。And、uh, in Revelation chapter twenty-two, verse sixteen, he goes, "I have taken my sojourn with the Jesus have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David." Can see that David is not perfect. He sinned. He was not very special. He was only a shepherd. But this is what God said of him: that he is a man after my own heart. So why did God say that he is a man after my own heart. In a previous Sunday, I have talked about David, hidden and private spiritual life. First point, David. Has a holy life. Second, David loved God's word. Thirdly, David had a prayer life. Fourthly, David's spiritual pursuit. And fifth, David. Spiritual experience. 今日要讲到吼第二大点啊，或者大卫有神的同在。We're going to share the second big point. David had the presence of God. 啊，撒母尼记上十六章十八节讲，哦，我不见，哦，你，哦，在别里行人也是一个惊，先以大钳，是大有勇敢的一个战士。讲话合宜，也容貌尊美，有花也甲伊同在。In First Samuel chapter sixteen verse eighteen, it says, "Then one of the servants answered and said, 'Look, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing the harp, a mighty man of valor, a man of war, prudent in speech, and a handsome person, and the Lord is with him.'" Oh, Joe. 有一个哦，所罗的一个佩伯，看，伊说找一个人，有法通底下来弹琴、托
托伊听。So a servant、uh, was、uh, tasked to look for someone who can play an instrument、uh, for Saul. 哦，因为扫罗的时阵啊，当亚华离开伊的时阵，伊托乌龟底下咧，哦，攻击。So when God had departed from Saul, there was an evil spirit who was in Saul and was really bothering him. 哦，这个车也讲讲，扫罗讲说，我车就一个人呢，在别里行的是亚西的家。So his messenger said, "Yes, I have seen the son of Jesse." 哦，伊是一个高端客咩？ He is skillful in playing the harp. 勇敢的这个天使啊。And a man of valor. 伊来讲话就是合宜。And prudent in speech. 明白，尊卑。And a handsome person. 所以这是外面的物件。These are all outward appearances. 但是佮罗贝讲说，要花也甲伊同在。And the last bit was the Lord was with him. 哦，这个是伊底下内面的事，是属灵的事。It is his internal. Issue, which is a spiritual thing. And in that way, in Psalm 23, verse 3, he was writing. So David, when he was writing Psalm 23, he was already a king. 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 He was already a I lack nothing. Oh, you see, when the prophet said, "I walk through the valley of the shadow of death," I have no fear. He says, "Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I have no fear. He says, "Yea, I will not be afraid." 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 He says, "Yea, I will not You are my shepherd. Oh, then I, oh, then I, he said, what so we have in this time? It was in my most dangerous times. The Dika wa tong zai. You are with me. Dika tiak lin bin jiang. In the presence of my enemies. You wei wa bai xiet yan xia. You set the table for me. Oh, so he did. Quan ti gong xie. Oh, dong yi de gou yin wen this time. So while he was looking after the sheep. Saya him lo dia me lai jia yu yi du ha gap gong jiak zai saya gao him. So the lion and the bear would come to get his sheep, but he had to fight them off. Then our his Goliath, ma, in the here, oh, I got Goliath, Jiang Jian. And even Goliath, he had to fight Goliath. Oh, so I guess he can say, "Can get see me, you got me." This is as if he had gone through the valley of the shadow of death. But he was scared, ma. He feared no evil. In his eyes, he was scared. He knew that the shepherd was with him. Then our Saul was there to take care of him. And even Saul, who was chasing after him, was going to kill him. Oh, the only boy who was so high in the air was how come he was so high? He said he feared no evil because the Lord was with me. He was the only one. When he became king, he was the only one. He was the only one. He was the only one. The Philistines had joined forces. To fight him. Ah, 但是啊，伊也无惊，因为耶和华叫伊同在。He really feared no evil because God was with him. He took the enemy's chain. Oh, to we we buy shit and shit. Before his enemies, God has set a table for him. So he did quite go. He did have shit. He penned this psalm in his heart. So when he was writing this Psalm 23, it's in Paul Boy. Oh, sin is同在 He really valued the presence of God. Oh, you can see pen. Eh, you can see some of the key songs. Some poetry and some music. And in First Samuel chapter eighteen verse twelve. Oh, Solo, ah, he can say Solo, who pa die away, in the Yahua, the Kui Kai Ki, Gap Yahua Dong, eh, Gap die away Dong Zai. Now Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him, but had departed parted from Saul. Oh, then Yahua the Kui Saul is it soon? When the Lord departed from Saul, Solo, when he Yahua Gap die away Dong Zai, and Saul saw that God was with. David. Saul was really afraid. So Saul saw that God was with him. 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 So Saul sa
chapter 18, verse 14, and David behaved wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. So because the Lord was with him, all he was behaving wisely. So he was behaving so you can see that the Lord was with David. He really longed for God's presence. If the presence of God was gone, he was he felt very miserable. Psalm 13, verse 1. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? One Sunday, I went uh, to visit a middle-aged uh, person, sister. He told me all her trouble. As if the Lord had already departed from her when she was reading the Bible. Why did the Lord not talk to him? He was really sad. So I was comforting him, her. And I said to her, the Lord never departed from us. The important thing is that when you wake up in the morning, you have this good relationship with the Lord. And you wake up with worship and praise to the Lord. You, if you touch the Lord's presence, sometimes God doesn't speak right away. But His presence will already satisfy us. So I prayed with her. So you can see this uh, sister. Once the Lord did not talk to her, he feels very sad. Psalm uh, chapter 16, verse 8. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. You can see that David had set the Lord before him. When the Lord is before him, so he was really desirous of the presence of God. So because of that, he was never moved. There are so many things that really shakes our heart. Especially during this pandemic. And this war between uh, Ukraine and uh, Russia. Every Everything has risen in prices. And our hearts will be moved. Sometimes you will say we have to stock up on things and we're we're going to do this and that. Our hearts will be moved. We should set the Lord before us. He is our in our right side, we shall never be moved. We shall not be worried about our future. We will not fear whatever happens in the future. So so Psalm 51 verse 11, Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Oh, David sinned against the Lord. Oh, he knew the consequences of sin. Oh, so, he sin so he was pleading with the Lord. Please do not cast me aside oh, and do not depart from me. Oh, that I will be 
away from your face. I have some very favorite verses. One of them is. It's Psalm 109, verse 18. When I awake, I am still with you. So David went to go uh, went to bed. And he slept very well. When he wakes up, he said, I'm still with you. So you can see that when he wakes up in the morning, the first time he does, what the first thing he does was to come before the Lord. Every morning when we wake up, what do you think uh, about? What is the first thing that you do? You should be careful. Brothers and sisters, we hope that we can be like David. <laughs> he said that when I awake, I'm still with you. He knew that when he was asleep, God was with him. But when he wakes up, <laughs> so it says here, I am still with you. So brothers and sisters, <laughs> if we really know what um, the real meaning of Emmanuel is God with us. Brothers and sisters, this is very precious. The other name of Jesus is Emmanuel. It's God with us. I've told you before that I was as alone staying at the old uh, church in Solaire. When one of the uh, janitors left, I was, I was the only one in the church building. Uh, the new driver did not still come to live in the uh, church. And the old uh, driver did not come to uh, stay in the church yet. I was all alone. It's a big church. Building. So I uh, requested some brothers to, to come stay with me at night. Because I'm afraid. We, we know that the old uh, church had swinging doors uh, in the CR. Yeah, the, it swings uh, in and out. Oh, so with the creaking sound when the wind blows on the uh, toilet, uh, CR doors, I will start to fear. So I uh, go and get some uh, newspaper. So I would fold it and uh, stuck it in the, at the door. Both in the ladies and the gentlemen room, uh, CR. So when some of the brothers come and stayed with me, they were also afraid. Once uh, two people were afraid, because they're uh, together, uh, then they will not be afraid anymore. Oh. But when you see the real meaning of Emmanuel, it is God with us. If I'm alone, and I know that God is with me, my fear will be gone. Uh, there's a favorite verse that he who is in me is greater than who he who is in the world. Uh, 
And the name Emmanuel also helped me a lot. And really relieved me from all fear. And brothers and sisters, I hope you can see who is Emmanuel. Another thing, if you want to have God's presence, we need to have a habit. We should have some short prayers. When you're going out, Lord be with us. If the driver is uh, driving too fast, it is not the uh, driver that's good in driving, but it is your protection. Please protect us. And sometimes you see poor people at the side of the street. Uh, Lord, be merciful to them. Provide for their needs. Very short prayers only. When uh, I'm cutting some vegetables, uh, my right hand is a little bit weak. So please protect me, Lord, that I will not cut myself. These short prayers can help us. You can see that God is there with us in our lives. When you have your activities, give me wisdom, Lord. Please help me solve this problem. And help me decide up this uh, matter. When you think of a person, you say, Lord, please be with this brother. Be with this uh, sick person. If you have uh, this habit, and in your daily life, lives, you will feel the presence of the Lord. The third big point is David's concern for God's testimony. Why is God testifying that David is one who is um, after his own heart? It is because David was concerned of his testimony. So first Samuel chapter 17, verse 26, it said, Then David spoke to the man who stood by him, saying, What shall be done for the man who kills this Philistine and takes away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? At that time, Israel is God's testimony. We can see that this army of the Israelites was being defied by this Philistine. So we can see David has this divine anger saying, why is he um, defying uh, God's army? And 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45, it says, Verse 36. But Pasi Saya 
a bit chun saya kao him chipwa. Your servant has killed both lion and bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. Oh, so in verse 45 of 1 Samuel 17, then David said to the Philistine, this is Goliath, you come to me with a sword, with a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David said to him, I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of armies of the Israel, whom you have defied. This is God's testimony. Because God is leading them. But this Goliath is there defying God's army. So you can see that David was really angry. He loved the testimony of God. And he longed for the ark of, the, of God. So this is the time when uh, the Ark of the uh, Covenant was in another location and David and these people are moving it to Jerusalem. You can see David was really um, supportive or loving God's testimony. This ark is the ark of the covenant. When uh, the son of David, Absalom, rebelled against him, he was there a very concerned about God's ark. When the priest and all David was leaving uh, the city of David, and these uh, very devoted priests of David wanted to bring the ark with David. Second Samuel chapter 15, verse 25. Then the king said to Sadok, Carry the ark of God back into the city. If I find favor in the eyes of the Lord, he will bring me back and show me both the ark and his dwelling place. He doesn't want the ark of the covenant to be uh, loitering or floating around. He wanted the Ark of the Covenant to be inside the Temple of God. And he also is desirous to build the Temple of God. So in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 2, King said to Nathan the prophet, See now, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of God dwells inside tent curtains. Mm -hmm. 
he, he saw how the Ark of the Covenant was only in tents of tent curtains while he was there enjoying the house of cedar. He was really concerned about God's testimony. Fourthly, that David had a clean heart and an upright spirit. He said this verse when he confessed and also repented of his great sin. In Psalm 51, verse 10, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9, it says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So David asked of the Lord, please give me a clean heart. I know that our hearts is full of defilement. When you talk, and we also tell about shortcomings of other people. These are all from our hearts. Sometimes we do some charitable deeds. Even our hearts are not clean. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 2, Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. Brothers and sisters, if we want to help other people, we want other people to know. Because you want them to know. You are wanting some glory for yourself. So when you do charitable deeds, the important thing is our inner motive. What is inside us? The charitable deed is what we have to do, but when we do it, we should be right before God. It's not only a good deed, but also it should be the right deed. So for a right deed to be done, you have to have the right Motive. So David asked God, create in me a clean heart. When we help others, we should not let other people know. There are some dirty motives within, as if next time you will have to uh, reward me. Now I am helping you, so next time you should help me as well. This is the wrong motive. David said, Please create in me a clean heart. Brothers and sisters, when we do things, is our motive right or wrong? 
itu Yesu. Is it good and right in the eyes of God? We should come before God to let Him examine us. So now you say to one lie bin, oh, tiang sin u jing ti te liang. And he's next. He said to renew a steadfast spirit in me. Brothers and sisters. Then, 沟通的时阵啊，有时咱咧疏忽，哦，咱咧做见证，咱咧沟通的时阵。When we minister to others and sometimes having fellowship. 是不是讲说神啊，我最主要是要叫你得荣耀。Are we doing this for? The glory of God. We know that glory is all the Lord's. We should not steal God's glory. So then we do this. Oh, so we should do that. So then, what do we do? We need to communicate. We need to communicate. We need to communicate. We need to communicate. For the glory of God. I'm saying, what is it? Is it going to be a blessing or is it going to be a curse? If I say this, does it give glory to me or to God? As you walk out on the street, when I share with other people. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Is it going to be a blessing or is it going to be a curse? Sometimes when you share with other people, are you telling them your troubles so that they can sympathize with you? Is it going to be a curse? And you are telling them in a very subtle way that they should help us. I have this prayer many times. I have this prayer many times. So, if my heart is not right, Lord, if my heart is not right, let thou take the young girl. And I'm stealing your glory. Could you teach me what? Please remind me. Yeah, to go lie bin and a tongue call. I will be miserable inside. Don't leave me as is. Oh, do you think that this is the only thing that can hurt me? He will give me some misery within. What time are you on Zoom? So I can change the situation. When I was giving my testimony during a Zoom meeting. Oh, do you? You can change. I'm just saying what I'm saying. I'm very humble. I was talking as if I'm very humble. Oh, I was talking to Annie Kong. She's very good. When I said it. As if I said the right things. But after my sharing, after this meeting, I came back. 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 I came when the Lord enlightened me, I saw that I am not humble, but I am being boastful. As if I'm a very great person. So, brothers and sisters, sometimes we do not realize it. It is God. Who will enlighten us? I always pray, Lord, anytime I need to renew my spirit, 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 anytime I need to as if it's a divine anger. Sometimes it's judging others, but you do not realize it. The Lord will see our hearts. And the Lord knows if the motive is right or wrong. So brothers and sisters, even if we fail so many times. Until now, we fail. But I thank the Lord. God never set me aside. And every time, He reminds me. And He illumines me. And He corrects me. 
and even dealt with me. And he's here. And so I thank the Lord. So he, every time, oh dear, you are suffering at this time, you are suffering such a tender heart. You are coming to me, suffering such a tender heart. So I always pray when I minister before God, to create in me a clean heart and to renew a steadfast spirit in me. This is the right, this is the right. A steadfast and upright spirit. Is not judgmental. Is a spirit that is not judgmental. Brothers and sisters. Let me see a quantity to get long. Sometimes we see a person. Let me, let me go in. Let me in. He, he, on a like dim soy in. Sometimes we judge them by their past faults. Yeah, but yeah, with your he on, oh, do you pin again? Sometimes you're already biased, but what by what he did in the past. Let me see why Anina. Sometimes I'm like that. But God is continually dealing with me. Just pray, just pray. But God is continually dealing with me. Just pray, just pray. Just pray. Once again, I fail. Oh dear, do I call him guilty? I can see myself. Sin, given the bin, go. Since God had mercy upon me. Can we, we the bin? How long? Does God not? Is is not merciful to that person as well? Sin, oh, so then it can change. If God can change me, sin, can we change the person? Can God not change the other person as well? Yeah, it's easy. Brothers and sisters, how many of us here have such a clear idea? No, young here, it's easy. We have a bias. Hope we hope that you will not have a bias. About other people, but have a right spirit within us. Namboa, ni kwa te kong se lan ti xia bo hua tang dui ni ge lang a, ha, lai jiap xiu bang zhan. And we cannot ask that person for help. Ha, ti xiu zuo he xi zuo. In a small group. Ni ge ha, ni ge lang zui gen jiang. And that person will will give his testimony. Ni na dui you pian gan ni bo de de bo han. If you have a bias towards him, you will not get what he's saying. So, brothers and sisters. So may the Lord be merciful to us. So what did he? Oh, ah, dear. He did say, ah, dear, day, day. He did any concert. Let ten man boy to hear the word "sihui." So, it is very. I warn you very severely that you should never listen to other people's. Talking about shortcoming of others. Oh, na ani si Jun. If you did that, di lai bin yu zhe ge pian gen dui lang. So you will have this prejudice or bias. Oh, ni di an bui hua tang dui di de bang zhan. And you cannot get help from what he has been sharing. Zhu di an su lan zhe ge dong xin jing de de dian a. So please pray to the Lord that we should renew. He should renew a steadfast spirit within. Us. We should look at the good side of Jerusalem. Of course, everyone has their shortcomings. But God wants us to see the good side of everyone. This is the steadfast and right spirit. An upright spirit. May the Lord examine us always and deal with our ministry and correct our lives. This is one of my favorite verse as well. Psalms 139:33. Psalms chapter 139:23 and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. You know, I'm not like you. 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 See if there be some wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. May 
we be examined by the Lord daily. Oh, yeah, teacher, eh? Brothers and sisters. If we have this uh, wrong spirit in us, we will do badly. And, and we will wrong other people when we have this uh, bad spirit within us. May the Lord take away this unfruitful spirit in us. May the Lord create a clean heart in us and renew a steadfast spirit in us. Shall we pray? เอาเจ้าสวาอินุยสวัสดีครับอ๋อเจ้าสวาอินุยสวัสดีครับอุยอยู่ดีตรงใจแล้วไอ้ความชุดเอ่อเอ็มเอ็กคิวเดียกโซ